This is the Music History Today podcast for August 4th. On today's show, Billboard magazine fine-tunes its Hot 100 chart, Biggie gets married, and John and Yoko start recording their final album. First up, though, on this date in 1937, the Golden Gate Quartet had a blistering two-hour recording session where they recorded 14 songs in two hours. In 1954, the Pakistan government gave approval to their national anthem. In 1958, Billboard magazine combined all of its separate singles charts to create what is now known as the Hot 100 Singles Chart. The first number one song on it was Poor Little Fool by Rick Nelson. In 1958, Gene Mumford signed his solo record deal with Columbia Records after being the lead singer for The Dominoes, The Larks, and also The Ink Spots. In 1968, the Newport Pop Festival took place. The Chambers Brothers were among the performers that day. In 1970, Jim Morrison of The Doors was arrested for public intoxication. In 1972, the movie Superfly, with the iconic soundtrack by Curtis Mayfield, premiered in movie theaters. In 1975, Robert Plant was injured in a car accident. He would survive, although it took him a while before he would actually become well, as doctors said at one point that he was not going to be able to walk again. In 1980, John Lennon and Yoko Ono began recording what would turn out to be his final album that would be released while he was alive, Double Fantasy. In 1986, Michael Jackson started recording sessions for his album, Bad. In 1990, Janet Jackson was hospitalized for an ear infection after collapsing on stage. In 1994, the notorious B.I.G. married singer Faith Evans. In 1996, the closing ceremonies for the Atlanta Summer Olympics took place. The Pointer Sisters, Stevie Wonder, and the Reverend Al Green were some of the performers that day. In 2011, rapper Big Sean was arrested for sexual assault. He was fined $750 with no prison time. Yeah, that happened. In 2017, the music video for Luis Fonzi, Daddy Yankee, and Justin Bieber's song Despacito broke the record for the most viewed YouTube video of all time, overtaking Charlie Puth and Wiz Khalifa's video for the song See You Again. That record was then beaten by Baby Shark in 2020, and at last check, Baby Shark still held the record. Please, somebody break that record. I mean, it's Baby Shark. Come on now, America. Let's get to it. Anyway, in 2021, Forbes magazine named Rihanna the richest female recording artist in the world with a wealth of $1.7 billion. In classical music, in 1782, Wolfgang Amadeus Mozart married his wife, Constance Weber. In theater, in 1959, the Billy Barnes Review opened on Broadway, and in 1985, the musical Dreamgirls closed on Broadway. Albums that were released on August 4th include in 1967 when Aretha Franklin released Aretha Arrives, in 1972 Michael Jackson released Ben, in 1975 Rainbow released Richie Blackmore's Rainbow, in 1984 Slayer released Haunting the Chapel, in 1992 The Gin Blossoms released their popular album New Miserable Experience. Also on that same day, Donovan released Troubadour, The Definitive Collection, 1964-1976. to 1976. In 1997, Pink Floyd released 1967, the first three singles. And in 2003, Kraftwerk released the Tour de France soundtracks. Singles that were released in the UK on August 4th include in 1967 when the Kinks released You Really Got Me. In 1967, The Small Faces released Ichiku Park. And in 1972, 10CC released Donna and Procol Harum released Conquistador. Meanwhile in America, in 1966, The Temptations released Beauty is Only Skin Deep. In 1976, The Doobie Brothers released Wheels of Fortune. And in 2014, Nicki Minaj released Anaconda. 
Before we continue, we'd like to tell you about the Music History In-Depth podcast, where we go in-depth on the history of some of the events from the daily version of the Music History Today podcast. The Music History In-Depth podcast drops new episodes every Tuesday in audio and video form wherever you get your podcasts. We also have the Music Halls of Fame podcast, where we honor a year in music along with a member of the Rock and Roll Hall of Fame, along with who we think should be in the Rock and Roll Hall of Fame. Plus, we honor a different museum, Walk of Fame, or Hall of Fame. The Music Halls of Fame podcast drops every Thursday in audio and video form wherever you get your podcasts. Now, back to the Music History Today podcast. Artists who were born on August 4th include one of the icons of 20th century pop culture and music, jazz trumpet player and entertainer Mr. Louis Armstrong. Also, rapper Bobby Shmurda, rapper Yo-Yo, rapper Lil Skies, Marquise Houston of Immature, Paul Reynolds of A Flock of Seagulls, Robin Crosby of Rat, Ian Brody of The Lightning Seeds, Moya Brennan of Clannad, Roy Flowers of Sweet Sensation, Paul Layton of The New Seekers, Klaus Schultz of Tangerine Dream, David Carr of The Fortunes, singer Timmy Euro, session musician Larry Nettel of The Wrecking Crew, and also the group Bread, singer Frankie Ford, Ellsbury Hobbs of The Drifters, jazz guitarist Herb Ellis, keyboardist Max Middleton, guitarist Billy Bremner, Dylan Howe of The Blockheads, singer and actress Tina Cole, singer Tiffany Evans, Savannah Shaw of Matt and Savannah, Joey Huffman of Soul Asylum, Max Caballera of Sepultura, and also the group Soulfly, Jessica Mauboy of The Young Divas, singer Jessica Sanchez, Big D. Irwin of the group The Pastels, singer Tom Parker of The Wanted, singer S. X, bassist Sammy Yaffa of the New York Dolls and also of the band Hanoi Rocks, drummer Rob Sika of the Boo Radleys, singer Crystal Bowersox, singer and songwriter Kina Granis, singer and actor Kishore Kumar, singer Jess Thomas, trombone player Earl Bauman Swope, composer William Schumann, conductor Kurt Eichhorn, and entertainer Harry Lauder. Artists who unfortunately passed away on August 4th include composer Vincenzo de Grandis, who passed away in 1708 at the age of 77. Composer Frantesic Tusek passed away in 1850 at the age of 68. Composer Johann Schneider passed away in 1856 at the age of 59. Composer Carl Mangold passed away in 1889 at the age of 75. Composer Arnold Krug passed away in 1904 at the age of 54. Pianist Vladimir Ribakov passed away in 1920 at the age of 54. Opera conductor Siegfried Wagner passed away in 1930 at the age of 61. Composer Henry Schoenfeld passed away in 1936 at the age of 78. Songwriter Rudolf Binding passed away in 1938 at the age of 70. Composer Alberto Franchetti passed away in 1942 at the age of 81. Singer and actress Marilyn Monroe accidentally overdosed in 1962 at the age of 36. Her body was found on August 5th by her housekeeper. Jazz guitarist Eddie Condon passed away in 1973 at the age of 68. Singer Antonio Machin passed away in 1977 at the age of 74. Pianist Duke Pearson passed away in 1980 at the age of 67. Country music singer Kenny Price passed away from heart issues in 1987 at the age of 56. Singer Jerry Southern passed away in 1991 at the age of 64. Jazz pianist Kenny Drew passed away in 1993 at the age of 64. Blues singer Little Milton passed away in 2005 at the age of 70. John Locke of the group Spirit passed away from cancer in 2006 at the age of 62. Country music singer Lee Hazelwood passed away in 2007 at the age of 78. Blues guitarist Johnny Bassett passed away in 2012 at the age of 76. Composer Gerd Naczynski passed away in 2015 at the age of 86. 
Folk music singer Ellen Joyce Liu committed suicide in 2018 at the age of 32. Saxophonist Bob Wilbur passed away in 2019 at the age of 91. Rapper FBG Duck was shot and killed in 2020 at the age of 26. Singer Sam Gooden of the group The Impressions passed away in 2022 at the age of 87. And keyboardist John Gosling of the group The Kinks from 1970 to 1978 passed away in 2023 at the age of 75. Next on the Music History Today podcast, it is August 5th, when in 1975, the iconic all-female band The Runaways was formed. Thank you very, very much for listening, if you're listening on the podcast, or if you're watching this on YouTube or Spotify video. As always, don't forget to like, subscribe, comment, and share this podcast. And if you like this podcast and you want more of our podcasts, then I invite you to check out our Music Halls of Fame podcast in either audio or video form. It drops every single Thursday. You can listen to the audio version of this podcast on Apple, Anchor, Spotify, Google Podcasts, CastBox, wherever you get your podcasts from, all under Music History Today. You can also watch the video version of this podcast on either YouTube or Spotify Video, also under Music History Today. Our Facebook page is Music History Today. Our website is jameritaniamedia.com. And our Twitter is twitter.com backslash Music History Day. Thank you very, very much for listening or watching.